Hello everybody! Welcome again to your new Do It Yourself at Home Nail Art! <laughs> Hello everybody! Are you ready for a nice, a spooky, creepy Halloween nail art? Let's jump straight in it! Have you seen this video by the way? You can see how I made this a glass slipper from Cinderella. So definitely go and take a look. I'm gonna place a link down below in my info box if you wanna see it. Okay, so I'm gonna dive straight in it. We're gonna use with the we're gonna use carving gels and I gonna make it on top of a dual form. Uh-huh. That way I can make like a nice curve to go on my nail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix my own custom color because I wanna create the, how do you call it in English? I think it's like a wood chopping block or something. The, the piece of wood, you know, that you use to cut your wood on. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> So yeah, I am trying to create like a two-tone color, wood, similar color, something. <laughs> so yeah, that's my result. Don't you worry, I know it's not looking really realistic, but later in the video I gonna stain it with my She Modern Brown Watercolor Paint, okay? So, let's give it some wood-like structure, just like that. Let me tell you guys, I think, to be honest, this was one of my hardest sets that I ever made in my life for now. I don't know if you remember my dragon set that I did for Creoxy. I hope I say your name right, girl. But yeah, I made a beautiful dragon, 3D dragon, also with carving gel for her birthday. And oh my god, that dragon was a the bomb. But let me tell you, yeah, I thought the dragon was hard. Mm, no, dragon piece of cake, if you see it with the sun. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a line in the middle, like you see me doing here, like that. So it's, you know, that's the point where the X is going into the wood when the steps to her toes are cutting off. Because, yeah, that is the little scene that I'm going to create today. I totally forgot to mention it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a Cinderella. It's part out of the Cinderella story. The part where Steph mom is saying to her sweet daughter oh okay your feet are too big don't you worry we're gonna cut off your toes so you can fit that glass slipper so yeah that's what they did so it's gonna be like um, a bloody situation at the end so if you are not up to that please don't watch the video okay so now we are going on to the handle of the X like you can see again I mixed the white and the brown carving gel I know I skipped out quite a bit because trust me guys this was like a lot of video footage it was a pick and choose for me what I wanted to keep in the video and what not so I hope you are not mad about that the little hole so the lady can hang the X up okay so this one is cured and look at that do you see the nice curve underneath? Perfect, right? So yeah, it's gonna make it so easy for me to glue it on the nail. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my black carving gel like that. We're gonna make a little ball out of it because yeah, we have the handle for the X, but we don't have the chop chop bobby I don't know how it calls the X itself, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm making. Like you can see, I made it make it on like two sides the same thing. So I can place the handle smack in middle and just fold it together. And then we're gonna squeeze it and mold it a little bit and kabam kaboodles. That's gonna be ready to cure for two minutes. Let me tell you the brand that I'm using from uh, the carving gels. I don't know what to think about it. I'm not totally happy with it. It's like really, really hard and difficult to cure. I don't know if it is because my pieces are fairly thick. Maybe that is the issue. 
maybe it's not meant to make things like that. So yeah, if you know the answers, please let me know in the comments, okay? I want to know. But yeah, I had a really, really a hard time curing that carving gel, okay? So, this is how my ex looked after she is cured. So, I am releasing her from my little mixing cabinets and kabam caboodles. So, of course, I gonna, I gonna file her later on in the video. But look at that! How cute is that, right? Ooh, okay, this is exciting, guys. I was really nervous with this part. I am trying to make my own skin color, okay, out of scratch. So, like you can see, a sh ton of white. I was about to say something else, but I didn't. Just a tiny bit of brown, a tiny bit of the pink. And yeah, mix it all together. And kebab caboodles, look at that. That is not bad, right? That is not bad for being a skin color. So to make the little toes, you basically make a little snake and then you put off five little parts. Make sure you go from smaller to bigger, okay? Because your toes are not the same length, okay? Really important. To make the little nails, I use my little spatula tool and it's actually perfect. You can see me doing it right there, right? It's perfect to make the indentation for the nails so yeah i'm just really really carefully smushing my tool on the end of my little snake and look at that there you have a toe with a toenail and yes we're gonna paint the toenails as well <laughs> if i do something i want to do it correct okay so yeah for the rest, how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is doing fine. I hope everybody have like a nice day or a nice evening. Let me know, let me know in the comments. So yeah, for all my people that love to watch a longer video, well, today is your day, girl. Today is your, your day. Yeah, this video is going to take you up uh, for 22 minutes and 25 seconds. So yeah. It's not a small video. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use my Yumik. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot to look at the number, but you can see the color. It's a beautiful neon yellow color. And that's what I use to paint my toenails. Cute, right? I must say, though, on the end, yeah, it's gonna be hard for you to see the toenail color with all the blood and the gore and stuff going on. But hey, I did it, right? So we're gonna cure that for one minute. And of course, we need to top coat them. That's what you do when you paint nails, right? Always finish a really nice top coat. So that's what I'm doing. To be honest, guys, I really was thinking that the toes were gonna be the hard part to make. But yeah, let me tell you a little secret. It was the easiest thing to do, okay? <laughs> Okay, so now we are back on the file, uh, on the file, on the X, I did give her a good file, and look at the difference, right? So yeah, I, I have not filmed the whole process, otherwise it was way too long. So I am using my Shimmel and Glue Gel, we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm showing you the Shimmel and what a color I'm gonna use. I'm only gonna use the brown, and let's color in my shopping block i still have no idea how to call it but do you see the difference in the color oh my god i am so happy that i did it this way and that i used my shimmel and watercolor because yeah i think it really brings it more together in a way i hope you you know what i mean yeah because it now without the watercolor it looks like a little bit more plasticky or something in a way i don't know so yeah, I think the watercolor is really, really bringing it together. What do you guys think? Let me know, okay? Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna leave that to air dry and now we're gonna play with some pigments and look on my table. Do you see that small amount? That's all I need. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you, the shimmel and pigments, they are the bomb. By the way, don't forget to use my 10% discount code right there in the corner because yeah, you can save like a lot of money with that code, okay? So just rub it up it in, remove all the excess and then we're gonna use the glue gel from Simone on the other side so we can also make it nice and shiny, okay? By the way, um, I already have like a lot of discount codes, I believe I have 10 codes on the moment. Just go in my info box, you will find my link tree link. If you click on that one, it's gonna bring you to a place where you see all my discount codes in one place. How neat is that? Also, in my tree, in my link tree, you can also find a boat of my YouTube channel. Are you already subscribed to both of my channels? You better do it so you don't miss out on anything, okay? Because I have a beautiful giveaway going on on my other channel. Mm -hmm. You can win a beautiful silicon hand dolly hand with stand and tips. So what are you waiting for, girl? Go and subscribe to my other channel. Go find that video. A link below in my info box. And enter the giveaway. Everybody can enter as many times if you like. Okay? Okay, so what am I doing right now? Ooh, we are coloring the root for my X again with the Shea Modern watercolor. Do you see how easy it is? And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not mixing it with any water. I am using the color straight out of the bottle. You can use it with water as well if you want to have the more watercolor effect, you know what I mean? But that's not what I was going for. Oh my God, look at that. The difference is huge, right? Okay, so now we're gonna give it a nice matte top coat. I also gonna do that with the handle for my X and then we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, let's use my McCart's top coat and make the part for the eggs shiny. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you cover all the uh, silver chrome parts on your eggs. Give it a cure for one minute and bam, the eggs is ready to go. Uh-huh. So beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, look at that. So, all my 3D pieces are ready, now it's time to dive in the blood. So I'm gonna use those two beautiful Yumic uh, gels. Oh, the, so we're gonna start with the lightest one, I'm gonna put it on my mixing canvas. And then we're gonna mix it with a little bit of black. So I'm gonna do that with both of the red colors, okay? Although I must say, the one that I'm putting on right here, it's already like looking quite a lot like blood, isn't it? But still, I want it to have like different shades, if you know what I mean. It's always more fun if you have like more colors to make accents with, you know what I mean? Look at that, mixing, mixing, mixing. Do you see it? Now we have four colors of blood. So now I'm gonna go in with my matte top coat so I can matte out this beautiful nail. By the way, if you wanna see how I made this beautiful nail set with my McCart Purple Poly Gel Kit, I'm gonna put the link below so you can see it, okay? So now I just uh, gonna cure my chopping block on the nail in the matte top coat like that. That's how easy it goes. By the way, guys, this is going to be a not wearable set, okay? Maybe you can wear it, like, for one evening if you have, like, a dress-up for a Halloween party. But I definitely not recommend to wear it for, like, a long time, okay? So now I am putting uh, the blood in the little thingamabobby right there. I don't know how to say it in English. Hey, you can see it while I'm doing, right? Just putting like a lot of blood in that 
thingamabobby and then we're gonna chop 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 with my axe so you can see like the blood splatters on the axe how it would look hopefully in real life i don't know how to say it but you can see how i'm going right chopping away mama chopping away look at me go yes chop 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 <laughs> Wow, that's already starting to look really, really bloody, isn't it? Okay, so to make sure that my axe is gonna stand up in that chopping block, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the little slit that I made. And because all the red gel polish that I already put in there, i just gonna cure it on both sides, just like that. And yeah, the X is going to be secured in there. Just like that. Easy peasy. Okay, I just spritz up alcohol on my mixing palette. So I can mix it with my uh, bloody color gel. And you can see how thin it is becoming, right? And that's what I want because I want to make some blood splatters. Look at that. See how easy it is? You even don't need a toothbrush. I see a lot of people using a toothbrush. But yeah, I think that's like... A waste of money to use a toothbrush to do that so I'm just using my brush just thin out your gel with alcohol and don't you worry you can still cure it perfectly fine because alcohol is gonna fly away you know what I mean so you're only gonna be left with the gel okay now I'm gonna use this is from a dipping system but actually it's just like super glue nail glue so I made this a little tissue uh, to clean up my bloody mess I made on my mixing canvas I cured it and now I'm gonna glue it on my nail look at that now it looks like they tried to clean up the mess right so also the shoe I am gonna attach as well with just some glue basically like that you're gonna hold it in place or oh, one two three four five and kabam caboodles there we go and yeah now i just gonna um make my little toes bloody cure them and secure them on the nails where i want them to be i also gonna make one more little tissue uh bloody tissue to go on the X nail and of course don't forget to make the beautiful glass slipper nice and bloody because she actually tried to fit her feet in that glass slipper so sad right my heart was breaking when I was doing this because oh my gosh I put so much time and work in this little glass slipper <laughs> you really have no idea guys my heart was bleeding as well but hey I think the end result with this set i really think it was worth it yeah yeah i really think it was worth it okay so i'm gonna use the glue again let's see what am i doing oh to glue on my little piggies like that and of course we're gonna make it more bloody around the toes you know make it nice and bloody and creepy so yeah guys definitely let me know what you think about my ultimate halloween set for this year i think this is gonna be like my most intriguing set for this year so definitely let me know what you think about it did you like it is it a little bit too much is it not creepy or bloody gory enough let me know your opinion okay and yeah I don't know if you think about it but if you think about it i think you have like a lot of fairy tales that have like a creepy moment in it like if you think on riding hood the part that she is eaten by the wolf with grandma and then the man that is opening his belly to release them yeah i think you can make some nice nail sets you know some Halloween nail sets if you think about it from just random fairy tales so yeah maybe give it a try try and think what you can do right it's really fun to do trust me I know <laughs> yeah I know because I just did it 
So yeah, just give it give it a chance, give it a try. Let me tell you, it took me like a couple days to create this salad, okay? It really, really took me a long, long time. But I had so much fun creating it. You cannot believe it. So yeah, here it is, guys. All finished. So yeah, I left the bloody tissues on my table just to give it like some more character in my pictures and in the video. But there it is, my Halloween style Cinderella glass slipper scene. I really hope you like it, guys. Definitely let me know what you think about it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna close it off now. I really hope you liked it. So. I hope to see you again really, really soon, guys. I give this a big kiss and And stay all spooky and sassy. <laughs> see you all later. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> and hey, don't forget to subscribe on my other channel as well, okay? Just click on the little head on the end of my little puppet and she's gonna bring you straight to my other channel, okay? A uh, bye bye. <laughs>